dinosaurs. They come in all shapes and sizes. And if you've been following the series that I've been doing for a little bit on my channel now, you'll know some of these dinosaurs can get to titanic sizes, like the Mega Fistians and Mega Theropods. But although these dinosaurs do get to large sizes, with some exceeding the 10 ton mark, sadly they don't get anywhere near to the size of dinosaurs we're going to be discussing today. And that's the group known as the Megasauropods. These behemoths were the largest creatures to ever walk the earth, with some of these getting to sizes only a kaiju could obtain. But before we get into the video and check out the Megasauropods, I'm going to do the typical YouTube thing by saying please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video, it means quite a lot to me, and we're so close to reaching 1k subs which is quite a big achievement for me. And also there's another thing I want to apologise because last week I was going to post this video, but I got sick with some random stomach bug, so the video was delayed by quite a bit because my voice sounded incredibly snotty 24 7 so if it does sound a little bit strange throughout the video that's probably why but again very sorry about delaying the video but now on to our megasauropods what actually are they well the megasauropods like all the other megas in the dinosaur family are an unofficial group and this group includes the largest sauropods to exist and to be classed as a megasauropod you only really need two different qualifications and the first is to obviously be a sauropod and the second is to weigh over 40 tons in weight and in order to rank these mighty beasts today we'll be placing them into five different tiers with the bottom tiers being the smallest and the top tiers being the largest animals to ever walk the earth and starting off our tiers we have the one star dinos with these guys weighing a staggering 40 to 50 tons meaning at a minimum they weigh the same as six african bull elephants and starting off our tier we have Ubera Titan. This Brazilian and late Cretaceous Titanosaur actually has several different specimens, which all give a variety of different sizes. But the largest of these seems to reach 40 tons in weight and 24.7 meters in length. And although this is the smallest of the megasauropods, it still dwarfs the majority of other dinosaurs. For instance, if you combine the weights of the largest megatheropods together, aka Kaka, Spino, Giga and T-Rex, it would only weigh 36.1 tons, which is about 4 tons less than this guy, which really just shows you the difference between the two dinosaur clades. Next we have the Mentrosaurus, and this dinosaur has one of the longest necks of any species, at 15 meters, and as well as its titanic neck, its body was also huge, with it weighing the same as Ubera Titan at 40 tons, but it did outsize its slightly in length at 30.3 meters, making it around 6 meters longer. After Mementrosaurus, we have the Diamantinosaurus. This sauropod is the largest Australian dinosaur and also the largest animal to ever walk on Australian soil. At 41 tons and 24 meters, it's a lot stockier than Mementrosaurus and Ubera Titan, which is probably the main reason for its success. Because of its tanky build and Australia's sparsity of carnivores, there was really nothing that could damage this armored herbivore. Next, we have Hudiosaurus, and I'll be honest, this guy could be one of the worst recorded sauropods in history with us literally only knowing it from a single vertebrae. But if the sizes are correct from the one fossil we have of this sauropod, it could measure up to 44 tons and 30.5 meters in length. And also sadly, this guy starts the trend of sauropods being known from kind of crappy remains. After Hoodie, we have Mementrosaurus again. Well, yes and no, it is indeed the same genus of Mementrosaurus, but the species is actually different. With the one we saw originally being Mementrosaurus sino something, because I can't say the rest of its name, so I'm just going to say sino, and this one being Mementrosaurus Jing something. I would say the rest of the name, but as you can tell, the names are Asian, so it's a bit hard to pronounce. As well as the name difference, there's also an apparent size difference, with one of these being the larger of the two species, getting up to 45 tons and 31 meters, which means it's about 5 tons heavier and around half a meter longer. Which doesn't sound like a huge increase, but if you use a modern day animal for comparison, it would mean this species is 20 grizzly bears heavier than the other. Antarctosaurus, what a wonderful sounding dinosaur, it's what I would say if this dinosaur was actually from Antarctica, but instead it's just a giant poser from Argentina, I got its name because it was found in the southern hemisphere, which I think is a really dumb way to name a dinosaur, but apart from its dumb name, it was a rather impressive animal, with it reaching 45 tons and 26.6 meters, which was a very much needed size, considering it lived in Argentina, which was a hot spot for titan sized carcarodontosaurs. Next we have Jaffa Titan. This sauropod was originally believed to just be an African Brachiosaurus, but after quite a lot of research, it was eventually given its own proper name of Jaffa Titan. And indeed, this was a Titan, with it reaching 48 tons and 24.1 meters, which makes it the second largest megasauropod in our one star category. And taking up our top spot in the one star tier is Brachiosaurus, aka one of the most famous sauropods in all of history. 
This dinosaur had a majestic entrance into the spotlight during Jurassic Park, where it definitely left an impression on oh so many people. And at 49.8 tons and 24.3 meters in length, it also definitely deserved the spotlight. And as well as this creature roaming the Jurassic Americas, it also had next to no natural predators at adulthood, which in my opinion gives it the title of one of the kings of the Jurassic. And now with us finishing off the one star tier, it means it's time to move up a tier into the two star dinosaurs. These guys get a size increase, meaning these guys now weigh 50 to 60 tons in weight, meaning these guys at a max of 60 tons weigh the same as two humpback whales. And starting off we have Fushiosaurus. Other than it being found in China and it living in the era Cretaceous, we don't really know a whole lot about this dinosaur, because who would have guessed it has quite crappy remains. So all we can really say is it's an extremely basal titanosaur and it reached 50 tons in weight and 24.9 meters in length. But other than that, we can't really state much else about this dinosaur. Next, we have one of the coolest meanings behind the dinosaur name, and that's Sora Poseidon. This utter titan weighed 50 tons in weight and measured 30.6 meters in length. Which, if I'm honest, is kind of disappointing, considering its name literally means lizard earthquake god, so I would have thought it would at least be in tier 4 or maybe even tier 5 with a name like that, but nonetheless, it's still an incredibly cool dinosaur, with it also being one of the tallest known sauropods to ever exist with it reaching 18 meters, which definitely does do its name justice. Keeping on the topic of cool dinosaur names, we have Dreadnoughtus, which translates to fear nothing, and at 55 tons and 27.7 meters, it definitely didn't have to fear much. And although it did live in Argentina, with menagerie of different carcarodontosaurs, at 55 tons, I don't think anything would have tried to put up a challenge. And next we have Patagonia Titan, which sounds like a cool name, but in reality, it just means Titan from Patagonia which isn't really too impressive. But onto its actual size, it reached 55 tons in weight, which means it had the same mass as Dreadnoughtus, but in the end, it barely outsizes it at 31 meters. Next after Patagon the Titan, we have a wannabe superhero known as Supersaurus. This titanic super noon or the dinosaur reached 55 tons like its cousins mentioned earlier. But like those guys, this one is in the Diplodocid family tree, with it reaching 39.6 meters in length, which makes it one of the longest sauropods we know of full stop. And after Supersaurus, we have another sauropod with the last part of its name being Titan. And that's Hanguri Titan, I think it said. But I could be wrong, because pronouncing something isn't exactly my strong suit. Although this is only one of four mega sauropods with the last part of their name being Titan, this guy definitely does the name the most justice, with it being the largest at 56 tons and 29.9 meters, which for comparison is the same mass as eight African bull elephants. Next we have Ryuangosaurus, and a fun fact about this guy is it was found in the same formation as Huanga Titan, and as well as being found in the same place, it also dwarfs its counterpart by a little bit, at 58 tons and 30 meters. And finally we have our last Megasauropod in this tier, and it's another contender for the King of the Jurassic, and that's Barosaurus. This Diplosaur reached 60 tons in weight which I stated earlier as being the same as two humpback whales. And as well as this staggering weight, it also reached 45 meters in length, which gives it the joint first place of the longest sauropod in all of history. And now with us finishing off the two star mega sauropods, we can move up a tier again into the three star mega sauropods. And just like last time, this tier also gets a size increase, with them now weighing 60 to 70 tons. And although it does sound rather impressive, you're going to see a real drop off in the amount of sauropods we have in these tiers, because who would have guessed reaching sizes over 60 tons is somewhat hard to do, and therefore not many sauropods could actually obtain this. But one sauropod that could obtain this size was Brevaporus, I think. This Moroccan sauropod is the largest African dinosaur to ever exist, and as well, it's also one of the very few mega sauropods actually found in Africa. Now moving on to its size though, this beast weighed 62 tons and measured 33.5 meters, which to say the least is definitely huge. And the only other dinosaur in the free star tier, Sadoi, is Protosaurus. If you've played the Eye at any point, you'll definitely know this dinosaur is Titanic, and indeed it is, with it reaching 68 tons in weight and 30 meters in length, which is actually a large increase when you compare it to its game counterpart, which only reached 28 meters and 49 tons, which is still impressive, but I don't think it gives Protosaurus enough justice in my opinion. And wow, we're already on the second to last tier. And sadly, I don't think we're gonna be spending much time on this category as a whole, because there's only one species here, and that's Argentinosaurus. This utter titan reached 75 tons and 35 meters in length. And as well, it's definitely known as the largest megasauropod, and I'd also say it's probably the most valid out of the top dogs. 
And now finally we move on to our 5 star mega sauropods. These behemoths weigh 80 plus tons, which is equivalent to 8 T-Rexes or the same as 12 African bull elephants, at the minimum. And just as a spoiler, one of these guys gets a whole lot larger than 80 tons. But before we get into the others, we have Argentinosaurus again. Yep, your eyes don't deceive you, it's Argentinosaurus again. This larger Argentinosaurus is made from quite bad remains, so we can't say for certain if it is actually Argentinosaurus, but it's highly likely it probably is. And when compared to its cousins, it is slightly larger, with this specimen weighing 80 tons and measuring from head to tail 36 meters. And out of the top 3 mega sauropods we have on the list, this one is the most reliable in size and also the most valid. So if anyone asks you what the largest mega sauropod is or the largest land animal, just say Argentinosaurus. And that's because next we have Marapunisaurus. This sauropod is only known from one dorsal vertebrae, but from this single fossil we can size it at 84 tons and 45 meters in length which gives it joint first place for the longest sauropod in history. And although this guy is indeed humongous, the actual vertebrae we're using to size this creature is missing. So all we actually have of it today is a two-scale drawing. And if you know anything about drawings or sketches in general, you know they aren't exactly the most reliable form of evidence. And I'm not saying the drawing skills are bad or anything like that, I'm just saying they can be slightly unreliable due to people making errors. And next we have the largest sauropod of all time, and that's Brufikiosaurus. This beast weighed 110 tons and measured 33 meters in length, which I just want to show for comparison is the same as 16 elephants, which is generally mind boggling to think about, like how did a creature this size even exist? And speaking of existing, that's the one thing this dinosaur's fossils aren't doing, with them all being well destroyed. But unlike Spinosaurus, this time the Nazis were involved, and instead it was just due to the area they were found in, and this area was a particularly scorching piece of dry land in India where fossils would be unearthed and then they'd crumble in a matter of minutes, due to poor soil quality. But before it did crumble, the fossils were measured, and it was stated the fossils were quite a bit larger than Argentinosaurus. But just like with Marapunosaurus, I don't particularly consider this sauropod as all that valid with size estimates, because are we really going to say these two are the largest land creatures to ever exist, when all we have for them is a drawing and a field sketch? So in my opinion, and also the correct opinion because I said so, Argentinosaurus is 100% the largest and most reliable mega sauropod to exist. So this is my 2025 mega sauropods list. Like always, this list is reliable for now, but in the future it will probably be inaccurate. But until new evidence comes out, this list is pretty proper in my opinion. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and even check out the other videos if you like this type of content. And also, last thing before I go, thank you to my Patreon, you guys are really cool for supporting me. But other than that, have a nice rest of your day, and bye bye.